Okay, we're going to talk about si some identities that you need to know. They'll also uh, be on your note sheet uh, that, that you get for your exams. So the first things, the first ones I want to talk about are the reciprocal identities. And those identities are sine theta is the same as 1 over cosecant theta. All right. So, and what I mean by that, if sine theta is equal to 1 half, what's the reciprocal of 1 over 2? It's 2 over 1, and the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So cosecant, if we flip this side, we also then flip this, and 1 over sine is cosecant. So if, let me make it more visual. So if we flip the right side to make that 2 over 1, the reciprocal of sine is 1 over sine. And cosecant, because these are reciprocals, cosecant is 1 over sine. See how sine is 1 over cosecant? And cosecant is 1 over sine. So as soon as we flip these to their reciprocals, 1 over sine, well, 1 over sine can be replaced. We can now say cosecant theta is equal to 2. All right, let me erase that. So that's one of the reciprocals. So now we have cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant. Cosecant, ah, secant is equal to 1 over cosine theta. And then the next two, there's a couple variations. So tangent theta is 1 over cotangent. And cotangent theta is 1 over tangent. But remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Well, remember in if you look down here at this triangle, the opposite side right here is parallel to the y. Remember what I said on the coordinate points, the x and the y? The opposite is the sine side. So the opposite side is the sine. And the x, which I said is the adjacent, is also the cosine. So this adjacent side over here, you're not going to be able to see that, is also the cosine. So this opposite over adjacent is also sine over cosine. So tangent theta is sine theta, very important to remember, and cosine theta. So whenever cosine is 0, so at 0 and pi, tangent's undefined. So that's where we get the asymptotes. So if tangent is sine over cosine, cotangent will be the reciprocal. Cosine over sine. And now, wherever sine is 0 at, uh, oh, I'm sorry, wherever cosine is 0, which is at pi halves and 3 pi halves, that's silly of me, or negative pi halves, that's where uh, tangent will be undefined. And cotangent is when sine is 0, and that's it the 0, 0, and pi, cotangent will have asymptotes. All right, same with secant and cosecant. Uh, when cosecant, when sine is 0, uh, cosecant will have an asymptote. And for secant, when, when cosine is 0, so at pi halves and 3 pi halves, secant will also have an asymptote. Okay, and then there's also... The co-function identities that we'll talk about a little bit later that you need to know. And then we'll talk about even odd functions as well. But this is the video that I'm going to cover for now on the special identities that you really need to be familiar with. All right, that's it for this one.